<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow, everybody's golf on PlayStation 4 on Imperial Garden today. Regular tees, normal cups, elite high. You know the drill. <coughs> My best for this setup's five under. So we'll see what we can do. Same rules as ever high club skill, standard clubs. Only chance. And we're getting to the difficult. Well, I say we're getting to difficult courses. Green and Malatra will be simple, but. High nails, one of the more difficult courses. So 173 and a massive bush in the way. This will be fun. So we're going to have to lift this. Again, all about getting it close to the pin if you can. Oh, that's not a good shot. I should have added more for the wind. That's just annoying. Oof. Nearly got the birdie though. I think I can see why I got five on five under on this. Part to start with. So look, they're all birdie and eagleable. Yep, my best score when I put it together is five under. It's a par four. So into the wind. Par four, so there's no real need for the power shot unless it puts you in a better position, which it probably doesn't here. All about the approach shot. So 135. It's in the middle of that sort of kidney-shaped green. A little bit uphill, a little bit into the wind. Let's just let it fly. Just on. Go for the birdie. Get the birdie part though. Oh, God, oh, <laughs> there you go. It's a par four. So three big bunker to play with. Shouldn't interfere with us too much. Just use the power shot to get past it. Wind's going to take us way left anyway. Yeah, look how far left we went. A little bit into the wind, so we'll put a bit of club on it. Can we get it close? We haven't really had a lot of wind to deal with on the last couple of courses. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Alright, I'm going to have to hit the pin. Got it. Missed the, um, missed the green. I need to keep the mistakes down, really. I hate this hole. I mean, hate's a strong word. I really, really, really don't like it. Got the ultra max spin. I've hit it short. This thing better hold. I've had these things just fly off the putting surface. There you go. Got a birdie putt at least. Wow, a birdie on four. Oh yeah, I did a little bit. So first the split fairways. The real question is left or right. I think right. And try and bend it a bit into the wind. Try and hold its line a little bit. No, gonna roll out. That's another mistake. At least we get a straight shot at the pin, though. Again, it's super hard to know where to put it because you don't know how much power you're gonna get. So if it's close, oh, there you go, it's alright. Just made that hard for ourselves. Got 
Got it. Four under. So six is the big long par five with that little brook. That can often be a little pain in the ass. Have we got the length to hit over onto there? Ah, missed the shot. Left, right, straight. What? Okay. It's in the rough, but it's not awful. Look at the gauge closely. We've got a nice bit of fair way to aim at. Bravo. We might have got away with that. It's a 96 to go. Fair bit of wind. Can we capitalise on the let off we got? The problem here is it's so far downhill. Come on. Ah, oh, it's high as well. How'd you get that part high? Oh, feels bad. Take a par there. There's a birdie to be had. Still in good shape though. Seven, another par four. Another split fairway. Got hold of it. Good shot. So one seventy left. Oh my! Did I put enough on for the wind? Because if you're short, there's a little pothole bunker just there. Oh, we got a shot out of it, although it's not much of a shot. It's out. It's about all you can do from there. And now we got the power pot because we cocked it up. That's what costs you. Putting in those bunkers will cost you shots. Oh, I thought we bogeyed that. It's a par three. Quite a long one. Don't like hitting woods to be if I'm honest. Iron on the other hand, I'm not so bothered. Just get a little landing, please. That's not bad. Oh, honey, just got it. Five under, and the par five to finish it. Now the wind's really going to whip this round the corner, I think. This may end up in the rough. Difficult shot. <coughs> nah, bunker. Yeah, that makes the second shot hard because you can only hit three iron out of there. We may as well go for this. Oh. Gone right. A lot of power on it though, but it'll be in the rough, which is going to make the approach really hard. And it's nasty rough. Didn't hit anything on the way through. No, oh, it's going to be long. It's going to be wet. Oh, it's just going to stay up. Well, it seems to be once in these rounds we have to produce a massive pot. And this looks like that moment. Just got to produce a beast of a pot. No. Oh, it would have been as well. It was just, just too much pace. Finish with a pass. We're going to be five under. 
I mean, no bogeys, but a few mistakes in there. And look at that. We're not getting close. We're not getting nearly close enough. We're hitting them around eight, nine foot. See the difference on Eagle and um, Alpino again to sort of six foot, three foot for most of them. Making life hard for ourselves. But again, the wind, the altitude, the longer approaches, hitting out the rough just makes it harder to get close. It's a 10. I've played about a lot on 10, trying to find a good a good approach. To be honest, hit it. Grip it and rip it. Go. Oh, nice shot. Ooh, the wind really caught it. Luckily, the fairway's a little bit of a gutter and it just catches it. 130 left. A little bit uphill. But not much. That's what we're aiming for. We're going to be inside that second circle. Five footer. There you go. So you want to do it? So at 11, over the lock gates. It is a par 5. At this range, that bunk is just going to suck you in. I tend to play down here. Let's take a little bit off it. Also gives you a slightly better angle at the green. So as a bigger surface. Oh, if I run into the rough. Oh, God. Well, that's defeated the entire object of doing that. Now we're going to have to lay up here somewhere. So bang goes the eagle chance. That's really squirted right. Oh, rip this hole. Going to be super hard from here. Need an absolute miracle shot. Oh, it's on the green maybe. Oh, just off. Right, we've got to get this down. It's the tee shot. Shouldn't have ended up in that rough. Oh, we nearly saved it. Um, nearly saved it. Uh, that was coming, though. That was coming. That was complacency. 12. At the risk of being complacent, we've got a strategy for 12. We're not going to mess with it. Hit it up here as far as you can. And get a nice approach into the green. Lie's going to hang a little bit. Pins in a bit of a tricky spot as well. Good, good. Puttable. Needed that. That's us back to six. It's a 13. We're right into the wind here. I think it's the same strategy as we usually play. I'm going to hit over that little bit of T. Over those T boxes, just land at the other side. <coughs> oh no, it's just got over that little lump. So 91 to go. Pins on the left unusually. A little bit uphill, a little bit into the wind. Can we judge it? Well, that's not bad. Found our range a little bit. So much easier when you put it on the surface, though. It's a seven under. 14 is the tricky par 3. You're going to drive the green, basically. My real worry here is that bunker. 
If we're in any way short, we're going in it. Oh, we're too far right, we're going in the other one. Oh, luckily we're at the back. Ugh. At least we get a shot out. That's okay. So we get a power pop. Got it. The stats are not going to be pretty on this round. So 15. Again, this is about finding a nice spot to put the ball. It could go for that. We're not going to. Oh, it's gone way right. Wind might hold it. Wind might hold it. Oh, no, it didn't. See, if that had been not as much shot sway, we'd have been safe on that. Oh, we got to hit a towering shot as well. We need super battle. Trebek has been here. Oh, just cleared it. Ah. Not good. Just get it close. Tap in the part. <sighs> Made a bit of a mess of that one. Eeh, 16's the big par 5. Ooh, ooh, now. It's my little skip on. Nah, it's not. Let's not be silly. What we've got to be careful of here is the wind. As it'll drive us forward. We don't want to go too far forward. That should be okay. Found a safe spot. 332, but don't worry about that. We're going to try and hit to the top of here. Get it to hold up on that hill. And then we've got a nice approach to the pimp. Oh, don't go left. Don't go left. Oh, Can't catch a break today. Look at all the shots we're on that. It's completely far left. Oh, that's an absolute beast of a shot as well. Today, Orange Jesus hath forsaken me. We got it up. It's kicked like that left hand sway again. I think I've had more extreme shot sways. I mean, I know if you hit perfect impact, it reduces it, but you wouldn't expect that many. And you wouldn't expect them that severe and critical moments. It's not doing it when it doesn't matter. Well, that's going to keep going. Tricky par part now. I can see why my best score was 5 under. So, part, so 17 is a barely chance. Ooh, not if you ever hit it though. A little bit uphill, should compensate a little bit. Uh, not great. It's 20 foot, 15 foot. Yeah, 15 foot. Come on, I need this, I need this. Yeah, no. Eight under. Well, a nice bounce there. One eighty left. Go on. Champion. Ah, it's a good shot. Well, nice to finish on a decent one, especially if we can hold this. Yeah, nine under. It's a better score. 
I mean, 11 annoyed me, 9 annoyed me. There's mistakes there. We can come back and set a better score, but we got a score on the, on the board. We missed a lot of greens and fairways, though, didn't we? Yeah, not good, not good. Need to drag that average up somehow. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more of your mini's golf. Yeah! And I got my golf level 15 back. About time to... See ya.